Hello everyone and welcome back to the series of Digital Logic Design and today we will study Don't Care Conditions. Now we know that any given boolean function associated with any digital system can have a value of 1 or 0. Now the logical sum of main terms associated with boolean function specifies the condition under which the function is equal to 1. And the same function is equal to 0 for the rest of the min terms or for the max terms. This pair of condition assumes that all the combinations of the values for the variables in the function are valid. But in practice, in some application, the function is not specified for certain combinations of the variable. Like you may encounter a system for which the output may not be defined for all the input combinations. Now as an example consider a 4 bit binary code for decimal digit. We have 10 decimal digits from 0 to 9 and for this we use a 4 bit binary code where all the possible combination with 4 bit binary code are 16 where decimal digits are 10. So we have 6 combination that are not used and consequently are unspecified. So the functions which have unspecified output for any combination of input are known as incompletely specified function. In most of applications we simply don't care what value is assumed by the function for the unspecified main terms. For this reason, it is customary to call the unspecified min terms of a function as don't care condition. This don't care condition can be used on a map to provide further simplification to a boolean expression because these don't care condition can have a value of 1 or 0. Now, a don't care min term is a combination of variable whose logical value is not specified. Such a min term cannot be marked with a 1 in the map because it would require that the function always be a 1. Similarly, putting a 0 on the square requires a function to be 0. Now, to distinguish the don't care from 1s and zeros on a map, x is used. Thus, an x inside a square in the map indicates that we don't care whether the value of 0 or 1 is assigned to the function for a particular input combination. So in choosing an adjacent squares to simplify the given boolean function, the don't care min terms may be assumed to be either 0 or 1. And when simplifying the given function, we can choose to include each don't care min term with either 1s or zeros, depending on which combination gives the simplest expression. Now in the given example, you have to simplify the given 4 variable boolean functions whose min terms lies at 1, 3, 7, 11 and 15. And and also the don't care conditions are given and the don't care lies at 0, 2 and 5. Now the min terms of the function are the variable combination that makes the function equal to 1 and the min terms of the d are the don't care min terms that may assign to either 0 or 1. Now the map simplification of the function is shown in the figure. The given figure has two parts, it depends on the selection of min terms and the don't care condition. The min terms of the function are marked by 1 and the min terms of the don't care are marked by x and all the remaining squares are filled with zeros. Now to get the simplified expression in the sum of product form, we must include all 5 min terms or all 5 ones in the map but we may or we may not include any of don't care depending on the way the function is simplified. Now if we make a group of 4 main terms which are present in the third column, this will give us a simplified term y.z and, and the 4 out of 5 main terms will be covered and we will be left with a single main term. 
Now the remaining mint term M1 can be combined with mint term M3 to give a three literal simplified term which will be W prime X prime Z. However, by including one or two adjacent don't gets, we can combine four adjacent squares to get a two literal simplified term. As per rule of simplification, the more mean terms or the more adjacent squares are included, you will get a more simplified term. Now in figure A, the don't cares at zeros and 2 are included with the ones resulting the simplified function equals to sum of y dot c and w prime and x prime. Where in figure B, the don't care min term 5 is included with the ones and the simplified function is now sum of y dot c and w prime dot z. Now, either of the preceding two expressions satisfies the condition stated for this example. The example is also shown that the don't care min terms in the map are initially marked with x and are considered as being either 0 or 1. Now, the choice between 0 and 1 is made depending on the way incompletely specified function is simplified. Once you make a choice, then the simplified function obtained will consist of sum of min terms that include those min terms which were initially unspecified and have been chosen to be included with ones. Now consider the two simplified expression obtained from the last example. Both the expression are expressed in their simplified form along with number of min terms which they cover. And if you analyze, both the expressions include the min term 1, 3, 7, 11 and 15 that makes the function equal to 1. Where the don't care min terms of 0, 2 and 5 are treated differently in each expression. The first expression includes min term 0 and 2 with the 1s and leaves the min term 5 and 0s where the second expression include min term 5 with the 1s and leave the min terms of don't care 0 and 2 with the zeros of the function. So the two boolean expression represent two functions that are not algebraically equal. Both cover the specified min terms of the function but each cover different don't care min terms. As far as incompletely specified function is concerned, either of the expression is acceptable because the only difference is in the value of function for the don't care min terms and rest are the same. Thanks for watching the video and stay connected for more interesting videos.